So to do this example, or do a problem very similar to this example, the main important thing, guys, that we've been working on and practicing is taking a trinomial and factoring it to a multiplication of a binomial times a binomial. Now, when we were doing this, though, we were always using the form of ax squared plus bx plus c, which we call their quadratic form. And that helped us out because we could then determine what our um, b and our c were to figure out the problem. Now, the problem we have with this is our problem is not in that form. So it's not in standard form. Remember, standard form is when you have your largest degree first, and then you go in descending order of exponents. So what I'm going to do to solve this problem is just rewrite it as r squared plus 18r plus 32. Then you need to think about yourself, well, is that allowed? Well, is 3 plus 4, can I rewrite that? Is 4 plus 3? Yeah. Yeah. So just remember, whenever you rewrite something in a standard form, make sure you take the signs with it. Same thing if I had 3 minus 4, is that the same thing as a negative 4 plus 3? It is. Okay, just make sure your, if your 3 is positive, you keep it positive. If your 4 was negative, you keep it negative. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to rearrange it so now it's in standard form. Now it's very easy for me to, to distinguish my C, which is 32, and my B, which is 18. Multiply. Add. So then I take a look at my data problem. I say, all right, what are the numbers that multiply to give me 32, but that add to give me a po or I'm sorry, what are the numbers that multiply to give me a positive 32, but add to give me a positive 18? Now, since they have to add to give me a positive number, I know I'm only going to work with positive factors, right? You got it already? Okay, hold up. So let's just go, let's just list them all because a lot of students haven't done enough practice so they don't get it in their head right now. So let's just practice listing all of them. I always like to look at 32 times 1, 8 times 4, 16 times 2, 8 times 4, right? And that's it. I mean, you have the negatives, right? Well, we have the negatives, right? And, then, and that's what I was trying to remember. Once you guys get enough of these practice, you'll notice that, yes, the negatives multiply to give you a positive 32. But no two negative numbers are going to add to give you a positive 18. That's why I only use the positive factors. Does that make sense? It's all about practice, guys. It's all about practice. So then you look at these. What out of these two, which one of these, when I say add them up to get your um, B, which one of those add up to 18? 16 and 2. 16 and 2. So we just say 16 and 2. So therefore, those are my two answers for my binomial. Remember, our we wrote... Um, Um, yeah, because we need to make sure we distinguish between the positive and the negatives. So remember, we're just going to rewrite this as our two binomials because remember, on my initial video, we talked about how um, you know the r times r is going to give you the r squared. The six, the sixteen times the two gives you at thirty-two, and then it'll work away. Right. So that's how you solve that problem. I'll do the next problem next for you. So Once we, we return, so we have the r.